Cancer prevention, the role of cruciferous vegetables and the indole 3 carbonyl. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, people who eat more cruciferous vegetables show a much lower incidence of cancer over their lifetime. So what are cruciferous vegetables? Well, this is this family of the brassicae family. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, bok choy, turnips. I particularly like broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts in there. Cruciferous vegetables are loaded with this unique uh, protective nutrient known as the indole 3-carbonyl, and they also have what are called sulforaphanes. And, the, and both of them have great anti-cancer properties. But let's talk about the cruciferous vegetables uh, in this particular video. Um, some of these protective properties of, of the indole 3-carbonyl are, are the following. Number one, it, it enhances the effectiveness of the body's detoxification enzymes. So about two quarts of blood each minute go through your liver. And the liver cells have a lot of detoxification enzymes. So there's phase one and phase two detoxification. In phase one, it sort of finds certain chemicals that don't belong in the system anymore, or pesticides, herbicides, other toxins, and it, and it works them over a little bit, even drugs that you've taken and it converts them into these intermediate molecules. And then the phase two conjugation enzymes come in and they attach to those intermediates and convert them into to non-harmful, non-biologically active substances that the body can excrete easily. So phase one and phase two, they work hand and glove together. They both have to be working optimally. And cruciferous vegetables and the indole 3-carbonyl in particular has been shown to improve the action of detoxification enzymes clearing your body of cancer-causing agents. Animal studies show that the animals that have been exposed or injected to carcinogens, the ones that are fed cruciferous vegetables or the indole 3-carbonyl, end up with much lower tumor yields and the total incidence of cancer is much less in, one, in animals that have been exposed to different carcinogens if you feed them the indole 3-carbonyl and or cruciferous vegetables. So we have this amazing animal research but we have some amazing human research too. We see that uh, higher intakes of cruciferous vegetables are linked to less breast cancer in human studies. And one of the ways is that the indole 3 carbonyl not only does it act to detoxify carcinogens, but it also, those indole 3 carbonyls can attach to estrogen receptors and influence them to slow down the rate of cell division. When you do that, there's fewer cancers that usually form in the body. And the indole 3 carbonyl can also help the body make the safer forms of estrogen. It helps to make more of the 2-hydroxyestrone, less of the 16-hydroxyestrone. The, the higher the 2-hydroxyestrone, the lower the 6-hydroxyestrone, usually the risk of breast cancer is down according to many studies. So cruciferous vegetables, the indole 3 carbonyl, help to make that, that ratio more optimal as does ground flaxseed and also the use of soy products or soy isoflavones, by the way. Then we have studies showing women that have cervical dysplasia. These are precancerous lesions on the cervix of the uterus. Given indole 3-carbonyl supplementation, in many cases, reversing the condition back to normal before the malignant state actually sets in. We saw the same thing uh, with indole 3-carbonyls inhibiting the recurrence of respiratory polyps. People get polyps in the respiratory tract. Given the indole 3-carbonyl after they've had surgery, the polyps don't grow back, whereas in the group that didn't get the indole 3-carbonyls, a higher polyp yield uh, down the road. In prostate cancer, we have amazing experimental evidence that indole 3-carbonyls inhibit prostate cancer uh, production by slowing down the rate of cell division, also getting cancer cells in the prostate to commit suicide. Uh, there have been some human studies showing that more cruciferous vegetables reduce risk of, pro of prostate cancer. The Seattle study, you know, really stands out. A 50% lower incidence of men ingesting, pro ingesting indole 3-carbonyls on a regular basis over their lifetime compared to men who had l uh, uh, low intakes of indole 3-carbonyls who had a much higher prostate cancer uh, incidence. And we see indole 3-carbonyls experimentally having amazing effects on so many other cancers. The protective properties are really uh, stellar. So what's my recommendation? Every day, try to have a cruciferous vegetable, either broccoli or Brussels sprouts or cabbage or cauliflower. You don't have to have them all every day. Have at least one a day. 
And by age 45, I'd also do what I do. I take a supplement that contains 30 milligrams of the indole 3 carbonyl, but also in that supplement is milk thistle, reishi mushroom extract, and astragalus. Why? Because by age 45, your detoxification enzymes are becoming more sluggish. You've got to keep them at a more optimal level. The indole 3 carbonyl and milk thistle do that. But also, by age 50, your immune system is starting to get weaker. Reishi mushroom and astragalus can bring that back up because those immune cells, if cancer cells form, you have to be able to hunt those cancer cells down and kill them. And astragalus and reishi mushroom have a good track record at keeping the immune cells in the fight. So I take two capsules a day of that combination product that has uh, the indole 3-carbonyl with milk thistle, reishi mushroom extract, and astragalus. Uh, what I suggest you do is click on the link below to read my article on the, the indole 3-carbonyl and its cancer prevention effects. All the scientific references are there, so you'll see you're getting really good evidence-based information from me, as always. In, on, at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, footage from my live professional seminars. You'll see downloads and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my teaching materials and, and my uh, review articles are complete with the scientific references, so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.